business analyst. MDVR and video surveillance topic has been a, quite an acute issue for the last two years. So we've been trying to research which types of hardware are better suited for this purpose. With the demands, there is an increase of demands of, of manufacturers, and Tatiana has come to analyze which of them are most suitable for this technology and how to implement the MDVR technology into the VLAN network. So basically, Tatiana, you have the floor. Uh, hello. Thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Tatiana Kotz, and I'm engaged uh, in uh, implementing a video stream in Violon. And our section will be structured uh, the following way. Before, I will show you how uh, it is supported in Violon beta version, and then our technology partners will uh, present you uh, their devices. So, uh, video monitoring become more, more and more widespread, and uh, it can uh, be required by legislation, or just it can be a useful tool for prevention vandalism, uh, reducing accident rates on roads, uh, incident in public transport, school buses, and uh, so on. So at the dawn of the GPS tracking industry, uh, it was available uh, to transmit only location data, and it was sized in dozens of bytes. Uh, by with further, but with further uh, development of L 3D and LTE uh, networks, uh, it uh, we got an opportunity to transmit far more scope of information, and uh, two years ago, uh, Gurten broke new ground in Violon and integrated the first uh, video device, uh, Smart Witness KP1. And now we have two more devices integrated with Violon uh, from companies uh, Cervision and uh, Hoven Technologies, and their representatives are here, and uh, we'll uh, tell about the devices more. And so, as all of you know, stat can be simple, so we also faced with some difficulties, and the main issue was to find how to work with different devices, but use a similar scheme. So we reduced uh, to integrate some devices and uh, some examples if they couldn't work with Linux server or they had no uh, tracking function. And uh, so now we have two different ways uh, to work uh, with video, and uh, First of them, uh, some of you know, uh, some of you work with Smart Witness KP1. It's a 3D dashboard cam uh, that is able to transmit uh, short video files uh, to Violon server uh, that is triggered by particular events. For example, harsh acceleration, harsh braking, uh, or over speeding. So uh, they are saved on Violon server and uh, can be displayed in reports, monitoring panel, and can be downloaded, downloaded directly from uh, our Violon server. And now uh, we have implemented uh, a new way to work with video stream, and uh, realization is the result of your votes on forum. Uh, we discussed it there, so please don't neglect it. Visit it more often and leave your opinion there. And uh, before it will get to stable version in August, uh, you have a chance to uh, to improve this feature by leaving your feedback there. So please uh, visit it. And so I want to, to introduce you what we have achieved this moment with uh, video stream function. Uh, so uh, they are shown in uh, minimaps uh, windows. Uh, and uh, so uh, we set MDVR block to the auto and then some cameras launch it to this block uh, and uh, uh, and then a new unit uh, created uh, on Violon and tuned on. Uh, so uh, the stream get to our uh, Violon intermediate server and then to get to interface to this minimap window. So uh, this video stored on uh, device uh, and uh, should be downloaded directly from the device. And uh, then uh, we can request uh, some video uh, that, that is uh, in current time or in the past. So uh, you have a kind of full stack monitoring in this minimap window as you have a map mode, a video mode, and a detailed information mode. Uh, and so it's uh, actual for supervision devices. Uh, and uh, we would like to continue MDVR integration further and uh, would like to 
to, to, to see your feedbacks on forum and uh, any other ways uh, to integrate it and develop together. And now I'd like to introduce you our next speakers. It's Leon Zhu from Hoven Technologies and uh, Gary Haim from Cerevision. Uh, so uh, since we have just one uh, video tracker integrated for years, we wanted our new technology partners uh, to tell more about their products and hope their presentations will be uh, very helpful and you'll get a lo lot of insights from them. So. So just give me one minute. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you all. Thank you for everybody having here. It is a really great honor for us to be here. And uh, thanks for the invitation. Thanks for the hospitality from Gotham. I especially Alexander, Dimitri, and all of the fantastic guys we met these two days. Uh, in this morning, we already hear a lot of things about the fantastic things that we uh, IoT, the Internet of Things, and uh, even Google Maps and uh, location intelligence. So uh, today here, I would like to share more uh, some new things uh, besides our location intelligence. Uh, what more intelligence we can have? Uh, my name is Liang. Uh, I'm from Hong Technologies. We based on Shenzhen, China. Uh, so okay. Uh, we are talking about uh, what is more possible when FMS plus video, okay? Uh, before starting, sorry. Before starting my presentation, let's just uh, watch a video, okay? This is a capture on a taxi, okay? And uh, be careful, uh, yes, okay? This is with uh, a video, GPS location and the uh, be careful, be careful on the top right. It is with speed now, okay? It is with speed. Uh, so what are we going to do with this kind of scenario? How can we solve this kind of problems? Uh, okay, uh, maybe it is just for testing. Uh, I hope, I hope this video will not make you sleepy, okay? <laughs> okay, uh, to uh, easily help you to remember my points, let's just uh, uh, ask, uh, answer three questions. What is needed in how is the future and uh, who we are and what do we have done? Uh, what is in, in the, uh, needed in the future? Actually, as an eight year experienced uh, uh, video surveillance uh, uh, system manufacturer and supplier in the industry, we always keep think, uh, asking ourselves one question. What is really, really needed from the, our customer, from the end user, especially what is needed from the near future, okay? Uh, we already in a very fantastic age. Uh, this morning we also heard the fantastic speech from Google Genius. Uh, they are talking about the more uh, uh, about the intelligence of locations. Uh, maybe s three or five years ago, when we hear about the Google auto driving cars, when we heard about this kind of news, we just th th thought it is only a news. But now we cannot ignore it anymore. Okay. But uh, one more question. Uh, maybe uh, one more. Uh, question maybe from your side. Uh, you're asking maybe the Google driving, the Tesla is for the passenger cars, for the private cars. We are doing the commercial vehicles, the trucks, the buses. But uh, one prediction is that after the next uh, five or 10 years, there will be a big shortage in one job, that is the truck driver. Very, very shortage. Why? Because the more and more young people, they, uh, they know how to play the iPad, they know how to play the iPhone they cannot endure this kind of long journey hard work so for trucks, for big trucks. Okay, so uh, let's conclude that actually a very uh, uh, colorful but also challenging future is working towards us. How can we be ready? Uh, in another way, let's just take a look at what our uh, fleet management software can do now. Uh, uh, we already have very fantastic features of the uh, software as a service application we can access anytime, anywhere, and uh, all kinds of remote control of the vehicles and diagnostics, di diagnostics all of this. Uh, but mostly these are based on the, what? GPS, OBD, CAN bus, and maybe sensors. Okay, so comparing what is needed uh, from the future, actually what do we need now, uh, but now is not widely used is the video, okay? 
this is actually, uh, as uh, we have seen, the, uh, Ms. Tatia already shared that the video can do a lot of things. Video can use it as the evidence after, afterwards. Video can just use it as a prevention, as a threat to the passengers, to the drivers, to the uh, robbery, to the theft. Uh, actually, this picture is taken from, from where? Dubai. From Dubai, yes. From Dubai, from the, the main road, yes. Actually, this is a label, real label test on almost now all the Dubai taxis now. Uh, we awarded with this uh, uh, project, with this important projects, uh, uh, almost 5,000 taxis is installing our device, similar like uh, installing here. Okay, uh, so this is a label. So uh, it is a kind of a privacy notification, but it is also a kind of threat. Okay. Uh, this morning we also hear uh, the transi transition of the connectivity. Uh, maybe five years ago, video is impossible. We cares about the bandwidth, we cares about the capacity, the storage. But now, it is possible. Now 4G, maybe after three or five years of the uh, 5G. You see here, the 5G in China, there is a saying that, take me fly, okay? So this is 5G, it, the video, big data video, transmission and the storage will never be a pressure, will never be a problem now, okay? Uh, so let's come to our uh, solution. It, it can be very easy, no, no, sorry, not easy, it can be very clear. Firstly, we need a very uh, good and powerful platform, fleet management software. Actually, this is already uh, what uh, the Wayland already been very prof professional at. Secondly, they, we need a processing unit, front-end processing unit, uh, mobile data digital radio video recorder or mobile data terminal. And the most uh, brilliant part is it is even better if this kind of unit can be programmable. I will tell you later why this is important. Uh, it can be Linux or Android, but the most important, it can be programmable. And thirdly, of course, all kinds of cameras and sensors designed for uh, vehicles. Uh, actually, the, all this map, all this diagram is already what we have done with the uh, Wireless Genius team. But before this, let's just take a quick look at who we are. Uh, actually, as, uh, as I said, we are focused on video surveillance business already for eight years. And now in almost uh, over 500 customers in over 63 countries until last week are using our products, uh, almost uh, 100,000 units. Uh, if you give me a chance to conclude our advantages, I also want to name it as three parts. Firstly, the quality. Because we are doing this security business, so safety, how can we protect the, uh, the vehicle, the passengers, if our product is not safe? Okay. And uh, secondly, the pricing. Uh, comparing with the same quality and uh, specs, we can offer you the best uh, pricing, cost effective. And the third one, but uh, maybe some of you may consider the most important one, the best support. Okay, so the best, uh, the high quality, good pricing, and the best support. Here list uh, our, uh, one more thing, besides of the Dubai taxi we see now, uh, we already, I'd like to give you some examples that we have done. Uh, for example, the, the Shell company and the Linda company that in Malaysia are all using our mobile device and for wireless transition and for video uh, surveillance. And also in Ethiopia, in Bulgaria, in Europe, in UK, Mexico, all of these customers I benefit from our systems. Here list uh, our product lines, including mobile data terminals, four channel, eight channel, one megapixel, two megapixel, all of this you can see here uh, after the presentation, and also mobile data terminal. Android and programmable, and uh, the all kinds of vehicle cameras and uh, sensors. Uh, maybe this uh, hardware can be, sorry. Mr. Lin, I'm sorry, we have little time, so. Okay, okay, I'll make it quick. Uh, later we can introduce more about the hardware. Uh, okay, I cannot help waiting for introducing you how, what we have done with Violin. Uh, we contacted a while almost uh, every, we can take back one year before, one year ago. We met a uh, uh, wireless team in our customer's office in Dubai and uh, exhibitions in uh, Mexico. We shared our products and information and uh, uh, Gotham teams shared their vision and uh, blueprint of the videos. We come into agreement very quickly. And after one month's preparation, then we started. So all of these core features we uh, finished in almost uh, two weeks. We provide the direct protocol from MDBR, and we greatly 
the minimized uh, the data pa uh, data size. Uh, for example, the GPS. Normally, other MDL suppliers can make it, uh, let's say, 400 bytes, 400 bytes. But in our protocol, only 120. So they one third less of this, and you can actually the uh, software can subscribe flexibly, subscribe what they want to greatly minimize the uh, software. And you can even for the video, you can also just uh, select the iframe. We call it iframe, most important frame to minimize the transmission. Uh, okay, this is the protocols, and this is the simulator that we write for this intervention to test for remote testing. And this is the device simulator. We can simulate a virtual devices as many as we want. And uh, no, this excuse me, we'd like to give you more time, that's true. But other speakers okay, also minute. need to have it okay, for sorry. just half a minute. I can give okay, you half a minute. Thank you. Uh, let's take a quick look at what we have done. Okay, maybe you will be interested in this part. This is our device in the map. Okay, if you can quick look at it. This is where? Okay, this is where? It was the connectivity okay. session. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, actually in the future we can do more. We can do more. Besides, of we divide it into three parts, people, vehicle, and the roads. When talking about people, we, for ticket driving, this is already what we have done. Last time I told you the program for Linux. We have done this in a very cost-effective way for, for ticket driving and facial recognition and the lost and found with our partners uh, uh, together to co-engineer in this kind of solution for, for ticket driving. And also track detection and license plate recognition and also in the future, maybe auto driving. Okay. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Leung.